Hey guys, Lanza has just been revamped and he might be an even bigger threat than before. Now his first heal does more damage if I'm not mistaken. Honestly, I'm not sure why they call it a revamp, because all the mechanics and skills are still the same. But I guess it is what it is. But before we continue, I would like to announce that I'm doing a giveaway for iPhone 13. And that's only possible thanks to the amazing sponsor of this video. Wondershare Mobile Trends is the best software that allows you to easily transfer data between Android and iOS devices, such as photos, apps, songs, messages, videos, contacts, and more. And it works with Windows phones as well. This will make it very easy and simple to transfer all the data from the old phone to the new iPhone with Mobile Trends. The best thing about this Mobile Trends is that whenever you restore a backup to your phone, it will never override your existing data. So you don't have to be worried that anything will be deleted on your devices while restoring a backup. Now for those who are wondering how to participate in the iPhone 13 giveaway, all you have to do is click on the link in the description and complete a few requirements. Honestly, if I could participate in this giveaway, I would. I mean, I'm still using the Galaxy 8 as my main phone. Sad face. The winner will be randomly selected in Gleam. I will announce and pin the comment of the giveaway winner by October 30th. Good luck to you all and once again, thanks Wondershare Mobile Trends for sponsoring this video and making this giveaway possible. Welcome to Mobile Legends. It's a good idea to start with the red first if you don't have a great tank or support that can help you with the jungle at the start such as Johead, Hilo, Selena, and so on. It seems like everyone in my team dislikes the middle lane. Usually I would have taken this small camp first and reached level 4 before ganking, but I saw that the Nana is in very low HP, so I thought I could level up once we kill her. I didn't see Katja using his ult, so I didn't want to take the risk of getting pulled towards the turret. Wow, it's so nice to hear compliments from my teammates. It just boosts my confidence and motivation to do even better. Sometimes, playing slower and more calculative is better than playing too fast and casting all the skills right away. Always keep in mind if the enemy has flicker or any dash mechanic. Retreat! 
We are kinda struggling in the early game, but this one makes the game more interesting. I think this is an efficient way to clear the blue buff with Lancelot. Dash through just the small one and then dash away with the big one. This way you can still have his first skill available. This is going to be the easiest kill, just a defenseless Nana. It was at this moment. We got super baited. My teammates were spawning already, so instead of defending, I thought it would be more efficient to split push. All they have to do is clear the wave and not die. Well, things don't always go as planned. But still, it was not the worst trade. We managed to get another turret and I was able to farm quite a bit as well. Nana's immortality passive has a 2 minute cooldown, it might be quite helpful to keep that in mind while playing against her. I didn't expect to deal so much damage, I should have been able to kill Kaja there. But now I cannot go in yet, until I see that Kaja has used his ult, I need to wait until I see a good opening. Odette, beautiful Odette. Good thing that I was able to redeem myself from the previous misplay. Smiley face. I kept in mind the cooldown of her passive, which is why I fully committed for the kill. Your team is going to turn. Justice, sir. 
When you see a Kaja chasing you, that's quite terrifying. Kaya just used his ult, and I got the ultimate green light to go in. I remember how much damage I dealt the last time, this time I won't be making the same mistake. I decided to body block Johnson, because I already got Athena's shield and they don't have anything that can one shot me.